You've tuned into India's most watched real estate guide, the Property Show. What do we do? We curate, call out, and shortlist best buys in your budget so you don't take a wrong bet with your hard-earned savings. Starting this week, we have a new knowledge partner, Lizes Forest, and we've got Pankaj Kapoor, MD of the company, joining us. Pankaj, welcome to the Property Show. I hope you're as excited as we are. This show gives you Absolutely. the pulse of what people are really ba- buying on the ground. Absolutely, and uh, and there's no other uh, time than this time when enough inventory available and lot of end user uh, who have been waiting for a very long time looking forward for purchasing property. So I'm really excited about it. Okay, so we will of course uh, tell you what our new knowledge partners are bringing to the table. Take a look at their research capabilities and also the number of projects that they track. <laughs> Property show India's pioneering real estate guide has a brand new knowledge partner, Lizes Forest. Founded by Pankaj Kapoor, Lizes Forest is the country's leading non-broking research firm that collates data on Indian real estate. Non-broking means that I'm independent. I'm not really having any strings um, attached. I'm not selling any developer's project, so I can be unbiased. With offices spread across India, the company tracks nearly 17,000 projects every quarter using scientific methods to chart prices and trends. Now Lias' Forest is bringing this expertise to the property show on NDTV as we continue our mission to provide you with real estate news and views that you can trust. All right, that's all about our new knowledge partners, Lizes For Us. I'm going to go back to Pankaj Kapoor a little while later and understand what Lizes For Us really means. We've got our first caller on the show, Mrs. Lena Pillai. Mrs. Pillai, thank you very much for giving us an opportunity to help you. Tell us, what is your budget and where do you want to buy? Yeah, I'm presently residing in Silaknagar, Chirbur. I would like to go and for a bigger house of three BHK. Uh, that's in the same uh, locality with the road facing flat and the parking. Fair enough. So that that was really a terrible line. Uh, I don't know whether it's raining in Mumbai, Pankaj, but clearly that wasn't a very exciting phone line. We got the question in the email she'd written in. She was quite clear on the phone line as well. L- Tilaknagar is where she wants, she's currently staying, budget is 2 crores and she would like to upgrade in the same location, selling off her older flat which is 12 years old, expected money is 1.5 crores and of course, you know, buffering that with fresh savings and loans. What do you think? Yeah, if you look at the Tilaknagar, which uh, this is the one location which has gone in for a big way into the redevelopment. I remember uh, 4 or 5 years back, there were close to 100 odd projects, uh, you know, building which went in for redevelopment. Although mm-hmm. in the current market point of view, if you see that there are ongoing eight, eight projects, mm-hmm. <coughs> supply has reduced to 555 uh, units because the number of projects got delivered and not much of the supply available mm-hmm. in the market. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, besides that, there are three projects which we feel that they can consider. One is by Rashtri Developer Clover project, name is there. It's also in the Tilaknagar and it's it's in the range of 13,000 rupees per square feet. And it is uh, 58 units and, and the three BHKs ranging 1,214 to 1,468 square feet. And the position is expected to be in 2017. Uh, there is another project by name called Alta Vista by Shabri Group. Uh, uh, this also is again at 13,000 rupees rates, but this the, here the position is expected to be much later, a year later. And the construction stages a stage is also is quite a nascent stage of the construction. So I would say that the first project is still scoring higher. And then. Welcome back, you're with the West edition of the Property Show and we're covering markets like Pune, Nasik, Nagpur, Vadodara, Ahmedabad and Mumbai, Navi Mumbai of course. We've got a caller for Pune, Sanjeev Jha on the phone line with us. Sanjeev, hi, welcome to the show, how can we help you? Hi, uh, see, I have just a query regarding this Yasran Nagar Plus project which is in Kalega. Mm-hmm. Uh, just wanted to understand the market prospect of this uh, property. Alright, so Yashwant Nagar, that's a pocket in Talegaon. So, what do you think? He wants to know about the micro market per se, 
Pankaj, is it is it a good one? How is it coming up? Yeah, it's 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 actually industrial town. So there's a lot of automobile industries, um, um, uh, different secondary industries, uh, good horticultures, and all those kind of a industry which are available in the market. So and and all together, uh, good thriving real estate market. Close to 94 odd projects which are there, and close to 11,892 uh, 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 units with the available units of 4,289 units, but is still having close to 33 months of the inventory overhang and we have uh, three projects uh, one is koinur majesty urban life and ayush park uh, so uh, and these are the three projects available in the yashwant nagar and he can select um, any of any them any of them so koinur majesty let's take that one first 3600 is the price per square foot unit size just under 1000 square feet completion date 2016 The next project that has been recommended by Lysis Forest Research is Urban Life by VTP Group. Again in Taligaon, thirty-five hundred rupees per square foot and four hundred and ten units. This is going to take a little while longer to get delivered, two thousand and eighteen. So it's away from its delivery date. And third project on that short list. Projects to buy is Anand Ayush Park. Pardon me, Veda and Shah Associates, Yashwantha Talegaon, just a tad below thirty-two hundred rupees per square foot. In fact, 